Hello everyone, Epi Eclipse here, and today we're going to be talking about the new patch that came out for Rocket League. Uh, it has a lot of things to do with the new ranking system, and it cleans a lot of things up and makes a lot of, thi a lot of things a lot better. So, we'll also be talking about a new DLC that's coming out for the game, and when that comes out, and what else the patch has brought to the game. So first of all, uh, three new tiers of ranks were added. So it used to be 12 tiers and now it's a total of 15 so the new tiers that were added is super champion grand champion and shooting star now what they really did is split champion into three different ranks which is just they have normal champion super champion and grand champion grand champion is now the highest rank in the game and then it goes super champion champion then it goes superstar all-star then shooting star see shooting star is basically what they put where all-star was and then they moved all-star up one and superstar is now the champion symbol so that's kind of how that worked and grand champion is the highest ranked people in the game basically uh, the percentage of people is 0.07% of players. So that's a very small amount, and they can actually see their numerical skill rating, unlike everyone else can. Just like Champion could before, but now there's such a smaller window that can see it. So a lot of these people are going to be like pro gamers and a lot of really good players. Then next comes Super Champion which contains about 0.1% of people. So it's a little bit higher, actually a lot higher. And then the next is just normal champion, which is 0.21% of people. So in total that comes out to 0.38% of people are in champion now. It used to be 0.91%. This is why they did the patch, because they felt too many people were in it. So, there used to be a total of 1,775 players in Champion, and now there's a total of about 604. So, that means a lot of people in this new patch might have got bumped out of Champion, and this is the reason why. So, that's mainly what's gone up on with the Champions. And then, the next thing that came out with, which I am very happy about, is the divisions. There's five divisions in each rank. The lowest is Division 1 and the highest is Division 5. Each division is about 20% of your rank, so if you from 1 to 5, each of it is 20 going up 20% of your rank. From my experience of how I've been playing, playing five games and winning them against people that are about your rank or maybe a little bit higher will get you up a division so in total 25 games basically will get you up a whole rank although it does have different factors if you're playing people lower playing people higher it may be shorter or longer so the estimated is people that are for your same rank it's basically about five games <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> uh maybe before i should have i'll probably bring up an image of the new rank so you can see them um, but next, that's basically what they've done with the ranking system. It's not much, but it's a, a slight little twer tweak to really make it so the, the better people in the game really are in a more special category than everyone else. So, I find that personally very good, and I like they added the divisions especially to his, because before I just couldn't really figure out where I was, like, getting to ranking up like I didn't know if I was close or far away so now you now you know or at least you have a better idea so what they also bring with this patch is uh, snow day is back on all platforms so even Xbox has it now and I'm very happy about that because it's a lot of fun to play especially if you got some downtime just casual um, so that is, and the next thing that they have for ranked matches is before the match start, you can't actually forfeit anymore. 
so you can't basically quit the game before the game even starts, which I'm very happy about that. So that's basically been everything that's in this patch. This patch is called V1.13, V1 sorry there. Um, so I was very happy with this patch. I think it did a lot of great things to the game. So the next thing that I said I was going to talk about is this new DLC. This new DLC has to come around with a movie. And I watched the trailer to it, and I will link the trailer to it in the bottom. It looks pretty sick. Um, so this is coming out on March 8th. It's going to be $1.99 for US dollars. That's pretty much how everything has been. Uh, it's called Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice Car Pack. So as you can guess what it's kind of going to be is there's going to be a Batmobile. That's at least what we know so far is going to be a Batmobile for sure. We don't know what else there could possibly be. But the other thing that we do know for sure, not in car wise, but there is going to be a new stadium. It's just like all the other stadiums, nothing really special behind it besides the outside of it. You're basically placed in Gotham and the whole like scenic view of it is Gotham. So I thought that looked very cool and you should go and check out the trailer. It looks so amazing. I'm excited for it and I'm sure to be making a video when it comes out to show you guys what it looks like. So basically that's all the update that's been going on in the Rocket League community. So I hope this has helped you in some way and this has been Epic Clips and enjoy the rest of the game clip that's going on in the background because I'll keep it playing and these were actually two very good games so I hope you enjoy. And let me know if you do like the way that I did this video instead of me actually playing and talking at the same time. I thought this would be better. So, I hope this has helped. Like, subscribe if it did, and I'll see you in the next one.